Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, and I'm glad that you could join us again. The annual Estella C3 Prize is a, a global challenge to advance ideas beyond medicine that make a huge impact in the cancer community. Well, the 2020 Grand Prize winner is joining us here on Health Professional Radio to talk about her Grand Prize winning idea. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Omalola Saleko. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Neil. I'm excited to be with you. Well, congratulations on being uh, the 2020 C3 Grand Prize winner. Give our listeners a bit of your uh, professional background and talk briefly about your connection, your personal connection to cancer. So I'm a clinical oncologist. I I have expertise in managing cancers with um, chemotherapy, anti-cancer agents, and radiotherapy. I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. And the winning idea is the Oncopathy app which allows cancer patients and their loved ones to connect with cancer specialists, um, life-saving resources, patient educational materials. Uh, My journey into cancer started about 18 years ago when my younger sister was diagnosed with cancer. Um, And my experience as her caregiver uh, just, you know, exposed me to the problems cancer patients have in Nigeria. And I decided at that time to become, I was in medical school when she fell ill and passed on. And at the end of medical school, I decided to become, uh, to specialize in oncology. So I opted uh, for the residency in radiation oncology. Uh, A few years before then, I set up um, an NGO called Shebekli Cancer Care uh, to play an active role in the community. And that's been on for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to have real life experiences with cancer patients. And then I became a radiation oncologist. And in the process of caring for cancer patients, I realized that they come into the hospital too late. They find cancer specialists like me too late. They come in with advanced disease, poor quality of life. And again, I thought, how can we create these tools that will help patients when they are at home or in the community? How can we educate them so they have better insights on their disease and they can have, um, they can make better decisions? And that's how Onco Paddy was birthed. Onco Paddy stands for Onco is cancer, Paddy is friendly, so it's the friendly cancer app. Tell us about the C3 Prize. What exactly is it? The C3 Prize is an award that supports innovation in cancer care beyond medicine, and it supports ideas that improves the patient's experience or education. If you have any idea that can improve how cancer patients live or how they deal with their disease, then you have a great idea to submit to C3. C3 stands for changing cancer care. So if you have an idea that can change cancer care, I'll encourage you to apply for the next C3 advice by Astella's Oncology. When you say that uh, your experience revealed many problems that uh, cancer patients have just in getting access to specialists, um, is it more about um, knowing who these specialists are or knowing what specialists to look for? It's it's multifaceted. It's a a big problem. It's a crisis. Um, And it's with the who. So when patients develop symptoms, they don't think it's cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually when they present to the hospitals and they're diagnosed with cancer, they do not know where to go. Uh, For those who eventually get to the hospitals and they see the oncologist, cost of cancer care is prohibitive. Mm -hmm. So you find a lot of patients walking into the hospital, uh, they're not referred to the cancer specialist, they're managed by other specialists. And the patients don't know where the cancer hospitals are, where the cancer specialists are. Mm-hmm. They don't. They haven't grasped the benefits of being cared for by a multidisciplinary team. Mm-hmm. So it's really from a point of lack of awareness um, and understanding the true benefits of being cared for by a specialist team. And this is worse because we have very few cancer specialists. We have a shortage in the country. So when they eventually get to the hospitals, you also find patients waiting, um, having long appointments to meet a specialist. And this sometimes drives them out 
of the hospital. Um, there's also the issue of the hospitals being stigmatized. Some people think um, certain hospitals have poor outcome or a poor image, and the, the patients do not want to walk into those hospitals because they think they will come out with poor outcome. And so Uncle Paddy is positioned to educate the patients in the community, um, direct them to the hospitals very quickly, support them to get right in front of the cancer specialist um, very quickly, you know, shorten the journey and just support the patients along the line from diagnosis to, you know, patient education mm -hmm. on the treatment they're supposed to meant. You mentioned educating patients. Does this app dispel myths, you know, about some of the uh, treatments or maybe about some of the hospitals? Does it go that deep into saying, well, if hospital, if you've heard that hospital A has poor outcomes, here's the truth about hospital A. Does it go that deep into uh, educating patients? Absolutely, it does. And this happens on our community forums. So for the first time, we have cancer survivors educating cancer patients, uh -huh. newly diagnosed cancer patients. And it's a luxury in, in Nigeria and many African countries to see a survivor, mm -hmm. let alone hear her story uh -huh. or his story. So my newly diagnosed cancer patients who have heard all types of things that, oh, this drug is not good, this hospital is not good, and you hear survivors who say, oh, I had treatment 10 years ago, it swells hope, it swells trust in the hospital system, and it just encourages patients to present early or continue treatment. Where do you see the future of uh, Uncle Patty? And I'm sure it's available across uh, all platforms as far as uh, mobile apps are concerned, yeah? Yes, um, Uncle Patty is available as a web app um, okay. on Google and iOS. At Uncle Patty, we're very excited that we we won the grand prize uh, because we applied four times, four times. Ah. And yes, and the Astellas U.S. Oncology Prize and the resources support we are getting from the entire C3 prize is going to position Uncle Patty as a market leader in the space. Uh, in, in the following areas, uh, one, patient education. We want patients to understand their disease, have better insights. We believe that we need to better judgment. And so with the C3 prize, we are um, amplifying our patient education materials. We're creating several formats, video, um, articles, audio, um, the second area we're, we're moving into with the C3 prize is, uh, so because there's a shortage of cancer specialists, we are working, we want to work closely with the community physicians who are caring for cancer patients and survivors by creating an e-tumor board that allows volunteer oncologists locally and from diaspora to work with community physicians who are caring for cancer patients. And so we are pulling resources and all of this will happen via the Uncle Paddy app where we can have multiple consultations going on on the Uncle Paddy app. Uh, what the future holds for us is we want to move from 1,000 to 5,000 app users. Um, we want to move the Uncle Paddy app into several locations in Nigeria that do not have an oncologist. So physically, there are no oncologists in certain communities. But if we set up Uncle Paddy Hub, then we can sort of teleport uh, oncologists into such communities in collaboration with the local physicians. So these are the areas we're looking at. And also, we want to go into certain African countries that do not have clinical oncologists. Uh, we want to um, create a pool of African oncologists and international oncologists to serve such communities, such countries, through the Uncle Paddy app and care for cancer patients in such countries. Where can our listeners learn more about the uh, C3 Prize and uh, learn how to apply as you did uh, for the uh, sixth annual uh, C3 Prize? Okay, so it will be to visit the C3Prize.com website. That's 
c3prize.com. And um, yeah, you can register for their newsletter to get updates and you can follow Astella's Oncology on their Facebook, their Twitter and LinkedIn profiles. Dr. Salejo, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. And once again, congratulations. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful idea, and I'm hoping that uh, the future is bright for uh, Uncle Patty. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you very much, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.